Good morning, church. If you've been in worship with me, you've heard me say those words, good morning, church, oftentimes shouting them in the sanctuary. But you know what? On none of those days, just like today, has the building responded. It's always the church, the people gathered in the pews. And I want us to think today about these empty pews, about the sanctuary where I stand. The word sanctuary says that we're, it is a place we can gather in safety, a place we can gather and feel safe. And I often challenge the folks sitting in these pews to set aside the cares of the world so that they might come here and concentrate on giving God praise and worshiping God. But that we need this place to be a safe place. And I learned something today I wanted to share with you that makes this an unsafe place for many to gather. In normal conversation, like I'm having with you right now, if we're talking, there are droplets that come out of our mouth. Now, we don't see them, and so we don't really think about them, but they're there, even in normal conversation. And those droplets can travel up to, you guessed it, six feet. Thus, the need for social distancing, or six feet at least. Now, here's the interesting part of that. Those little droplets that come out of our mouth, that's where the, the virus can be spread. And they'll be surrounded by moisture, and, and normally they come out of our mouth. We don't see them, but they settle around us, and they settle wherever they are. But as we have conversation, or our voice changes, as we shout something out like I do, good morning church, or in the midst of a message, and I raise my voice, or we're singing. We're singing praises to God, and we're projecting our voice. We're offering up a prayer request across the room. Whatever it is, the raised voice, we can project even further. And what happens when we do that? Not only do those droplets go further, but they can change. The moisture dries out, and they can become an aerosol that can hang in the air even longer even long enough that you might walk through them. What happens to those droplets, whether they're in the form of moisture or they're in aerosol? Eventually, they settle on surfaces like these pews or the cushions in the pews and the other things, and it's there that they can lay sometimes for as much as three or four days or more. And that makes it a dangerous place to be. So what do we want to do? We want this to be a place of safety, a sanctuary for people to come and praise God. And so right now we're not gathering in the, the, the sanctuary because it's not safe for many. What we are going to do is remain the church. We are going to be the people that goes out and makes a difference in our world. We might be doing that differently. We might be doing it on, on the telephone or, or so, for some of us it'll be, we'll be using modern technology of video and computers, but we're still the church. We still have a chance to tell the story and keep our, ourselves and our neighbors safe. And that's my desire, is that we would remain safe so that that day can come when we can gather again to give God praise for what he's done and what he's taught us during this pandemic, during this challenging time, because God is doing a mighty work even in the midst of this. And I look forward, as I know you do, to that day when we can gather in this sanctuary, a place of safety, and give God praise. And so until that day, let's make sure that we do all we can to be safe and yet the church 
and then gather together to give God praise in his sanctuary.